easier than ever to build and sell websites. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it for my agency so you can copy me and make sales. We're gonna go over to Google Maps over here. This is the first place to start. So all we have to do is zoom in on a town. So we're gonna pick Columbus for this one. And we're gonna do Handyman. Now, this is an untapped niche, so you're gonna see a lot of bad websites here. These people get going with very minimal business startup costs and rely a lot on their skills. Website design and funnels are not one of their skills, so we can come in here as a marketing expert and help them get more leads to their business. So on the left side, you'll see a lot of these handymen have very, very low reviews. 72, one, six, seven. And if you don't know, these are all Google My Business pages. So this is a business page that Google sets up for them for their business. Now, if we click on this one right here, you can see on the left, it doesn't even have a website. So that means that they don't have a website attached. So you can go ahead and call this company right now and tell them that you can make a website for them. And I'll get on how to make the websites later in the video. Here's another one, doesn't have a website. And the crazy thing is all of them have photos. So this makes it even easier to build them a website because we already have the assets needed. And a lot of these handymen take before and after pictures. So they have tons of good content to add to their website. Now here's a few I found that are just terrible. So here's one right here, just in case services. They have this set up through Square and it's not even really a website. It's just a generic place that Square gives them and that's their payment processor. So I actually already called this company and they didn't pick up. So if they do pick up, I'm gonna sell them a website today, but feel free to give them a call and sell them a website as well. This page is not gonna convert at all. What they need to have is an actual funnel that drives a specific action such as booking a call or getting a free estimate. So we're gonna go to the next one over here, Scotty's Home Solutions. So this is an actual web page, and we see right at the top, he has his picture of his car here, which is great. It is a little too big, I would make it a little smaller. Uh, he has some nice call to actions here. So as you can see, we have a call us today. He does need to increase the size of this text right here. And I would make the button do some type of animation, like fade in and out or bounce. And you can add all of that inside the page builder I'm gonna show you at the end of the video. Now, as we scroll down, he keeps his color tone, which is good. What he's missing right here is a call to action. He should have this. He does have a phone number right here that you can click. And you can tell that the phone number actually works because in the bottom left down here, you'll see it pop up where it shows the actual phone number with TEL next to it. Now, if we wanted to see if this website is mobile optimized, we just go ahead and hit F12 if you're on a computer and then pick what kind of phone you're gonna be seeing this in. Now, as we can tell, see how it's cut off and I have to click and drag. So right away, this is not mobile optimized. So anybody that is logging in and seeing this website from mobile is seeing this. All right, they're seeing text cut off. And as you can tell, that's not gonna land him any clients. Let's go back to the PC version here. He does have a lot of really good pictures here, plumbing, electrical, carpentry, remodels. And he has, it looks like he has the after image shown of after the project is completed. What I would do is I would have him have the before and after pictures. That way the potential customer can go ahead and realize what they're buying and see actually the type of service that they're gonna get when they book with this guy. This is a pretty good section to have, family owned and operated, 24 seven support, no job is too small or too big, discounts and free, this is great. These are all great. I wouldn't touch this at all. The only thing I would do is add a call to action right about here and say, book with us today or get a free estimate. Now this section he did wrong. It's weird to ask for them to leave us a review because we can do that in a Google review request automation that we set up for him later. So this is something you can tell him that we can send to his already past happy clients and then get the reviews that actually are gonna be five star. If you have leave us a review right on this page, it's not a very good spot to have it. These people are prospects, they're not actually clients yet. Now he does have the rolling banner, that's good. I like the five stars. You can pull this directly from Google. And he has the areas that he serves. I would actually have a map here showing the areas with pins. It'd be a little nicer looking. But besides that, I would rate this probably a C to D tier website, especially with the mobile not working. That's gotta be fixed as soon as possible. So that's a company you can reach out to and let him know that the website is actually broken and that you can fix it. All right, we're gonna go to the next one here. 
Reynoldsburg Handyman Service. All right, they have a few pictures here, very simple. They have a call to action book now. All right, the before and after slider here is perfect. I think this is what every handyman should have on their front page, right in the hero section. It's showing you tangible results that you can get from booking with him. He has a call to action right here, which is great. It's a little plain up here, but that's fine. Now, as we scroll down this section right here, is is pretty much wasted uh, what they need to do is they need to have a few of these services that they offer and then a few pictures next to them and then they need to stagger them back left and right then we also need a call to action which he doesn't have he has a how can we help you but it just links to a phone number so it's a little misleading i'm gonna click how can they help me and then it's gonna automatically call the number from my phone uh, it's a little misleading Here's a call us today, call to action, that's good. And he's got some prices in here. I would leave the prices off this page and just try to get as many people to call as possible. Now he's got some weird thing at the bottom where it says laminate tile floor installation and he has a number. I don't know if that's his number. It looks like it is his number. Uh, it's not a button, so I can't click this to actually call the number. So like I said, a few things are broken on this website, it needs to be fixed. But he has the right idea at the top with the before and afters. Now let's check if it's mobile optimized, and it is. So it looks really good on mobile. Very nice and plain, simple landing page. I would just add a few more call to actions and a few of the things we talked about. Now, let's say you wanted to build one of these websites after you found a few bad ones, you did some prospecting. Well, how you do that is we use a software in my agency called Go High Level. And this software, we can build websites, funnels, Google review automations, email workflows, payment processing. We can pretty much do everything we need to right inside of here. So all you have to do is go to sites on the left and then go from template and hit okay. And this is gonna populate websites that are already pre-built templates that all you need to do is come in here and fill out the information, change a few pictures around, adjust the phone numbers and put their company logo at the top and that's it. So here we're gonna search for a template and we're gonna put in repairs and you're gonna see a bunch already pop up here, plumbing service repairs, home repair service booking and you can preview all of these right here. Just hit the eye icon. All right, so right off the bat, we have some call to actions in every section, which is good. We have what services that they actually do and shows how many clients that they do and how many hours it takes to receive the offer. They have another call to action with the phone number, that's good. And you're gonna notice a lot of this text in here is Laura Ipsum. And Laura Ipsum text is just gonna be Latin placeholder text. So it's just showing you this is where the text goes. So if we wanted to use this website, just go ahead and hit continue up here. And that's gonna add it to our template library. Now here's one that we picked up so we can go ahead and start editing. This button right here needs to be centered. So on the right side, we just click the button and then we just move it to the center right here with button align. Now let's say we actually wanted to align this as well. We can do that here and here. Now, if we wanted to get some ad copy in here, there's an AI function built into the page builder, which is awesome. All you have to do is hit generate with AI and then just type in handyman repair service, ad copy hero section, fixes made simple, your go-to experts for quick and reliable repair solutions at home. Here, so it generates three different versions that we can go ahead and pick from. Fix it quick, fix it right, your go-to handyman service for stress-free repairs at home. Let's, I like that one, let's just go ahead, hit continue, and that's gonna populate that right in here. Let's go ahead and align that to the center. That looks a lot better. Now, if we click this button right here, we wanna change this color, for example, change it to green, that looks good. And let's say the font size isn't big enough, so let's just increase that font size, make that button really just pop out, perfect. And it should be book appointment, or how about get a free estimate? Perfect, now that's a good call to action. And we choose what the button actually does over here where it says link to pop-up or it's gonna go to a specific website URL. It can go to the next step in the funnel as well. Or you can have a call. So we can just have this button call. Then we just put in the phone number right here. Now, if we wanted to make this button do an animation like I was mentioning earlier, we just go ahead and hit animation. And then we scroll down here, we have a few to pick from. We can have it come in from the left, come in from the right. We can have it flip around like that. I think a nice, simple, small to grow, so it's just a zoom in. I think that one looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and delete this right here. You can also add a calendar right on this screen. So if we go here and click this button and we just type in calendar and then boom, here's where the calendar is gonna populate when you select which calendar. Now, as we scroll down, there's gonna be more of these call to action buttons. And if you wanna get rid of anything at any time on this webpage, you can just hit this delete button, it's just a little trash can. 
perfect. Now here, this should be book an appointment. So let's scroll down here, book an appointment, and let's go ahead and change that to our green color. Green and blue are conversion colors, so those are the colors you wanna use for a button. Let's make that a little bigger, not too big. There we go. And let's move that to the middle. All right. And if you wanna change any of these images around, you can just go ahead and click the image here. And then in the image options on the right side, go ahead and hit that button there. And then you're gonna go ahead and go to My Media Unsplash, and then you're gonna type in Repair. All right, so it's gonna show some images. It'll pull these, these are all stock images that you can use. Let's put in Home Repair. There we go, okay. So here's, here's a good one right here, some finished. Uh, so you just double click that, and it's gonna add it in here. Perfect, let's go ahead and change this one as well. Nice, I have no idea what this is. Let's go ahead and delete that image, delete this image. We don't want too many images in a row. And then down here, let's say there's some empty space. So if you wanted to go ahead and add a section, you can do a paragraph, you can do a headline. And then if you wanna move these around, just click this button right here and move them to the top. Perfect. Now you can add some buffer space here. There we go. All right, here's some lower ipsum. You change the call to action. All right, so what our customers are saying. And then you can go in and do an AI. So if you just wanna take a couple of these and just bring them over, that's good. There now I'm just gonna change this font size a little bit. Perfect. All right, now all we have to do is hit save at the top right. And if you guys want more videos on how to actually go in and build these and connect the domain and get all the payments set up, go ahead and click my link in the description below and it'll bring you to my school community where I answer all questions over there and have tons and tons of resources for you guys to look at. All right, so let's preview this right now. Provide quality repair service. Good, good. Got another call to action here. Perfect. All right, now this website that we just made, this is just the bare bones. We can come back in and fill it out completely once we actually sell the client. But look at it compared to these. I mean, these are just awful, right? Look how bad these websites are compared to the one we just made in about a couple minutes. Now I'm not saying this website is completed. Obviously there's a ton of things to do to this website to fix it up a little more, but it's a great place to start. Now, if you wanna learn how to build websites and sell them to local businesses, go ahead and click my link in the description below and join my free school community. I have a free course in there that you can go ahead and run through and start landing clients in a week. I'll catch you in the next one.